Hi all. Welcome to Cichlid Dojo. Today let's talk about Nandopsis hadiensis. Nandopsis hadiensis was officially described by T. Van in 1935. Hadiensis refers to the island of Haiti. This island is the home of Nandopsis hadiensis, a cichlid that hardly differs from its six million years older, fossil ancestor Nandopsis woodringi. Nandopsis hadiensis lives on Hispaniola. Under the same conditions as Nandopsis tetracanthus in Cuba Hispaniola. On 12 January 2010, the island was hit by an unprecedented earthquake. The consequences of the disaster on the habitat of Nandopsis hadiensis are unknown. But may have been locally existential. This island is formed by the countries of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. We can find this fish in both countries. Diet. Omnivorous. The staple food these species depend on the location. The stomach test that John Van T had on animals, contained algae, aquatic plants, snails. In the aquarium. In 1938, eight specimens were imported by Erhard Roloff. One of the first aquarists to undertake fishing trips to the tropics. These fish did not survive. So in 1993 the species was re-imported by Jens Gottwald. An aquarium fish dealer who is still making progress today. Nandopsis hadiensis turned out not to be an easy species, on the contrary, this fish has proven to be extremely sensitive over the years. Some do manage to keep this species successful and even to propagate it afterwards. In which a sudden outbreak of bloat strikes apparently overnight. The first problem that arises with these animals is that we do not know exactly from which habitat our fish come. It makes a lot of difference whether the fish is caught in a clear mountain river or whether it comes from a brackish water lagoon. Clear oxygen-rich water is essential. And in the second case, an addition of salt is indispensable. Nandopsis hadiensis is an island fish. But not only the fish has been on an island for the last few million years. So has its immune system. This means that Nandopsis hadiensis lacks more than 6 million years of updates to its immune system. Therefore, recommend that you do not accompany this fish in the aquarium with other cichlids. Even other species in the tank may be a risk. The third point of attention is the sensitivity to water changes. We recommend that the water change is gradual. An automatic water change system would be ideal. Provide them food that is rich in fiber and low in protein. One day of fasting a week. Hard alkaline water. Salt supplement. Temperature 27 to 29 degrees would be ideal. Nandopsis hadiensis is a large fish that should be kept in pairs. Decorate the aquarium with rocks and wood for hiding places. Breeding Nandopsis hadiensis, Haitian. Nandopsis hadiensis is an open substrate spawner. These fish can produce offspring at a length of 7 to 8 centimeters. Males get bigger, get a bump in the forehead, and are lighter, cream colored. Females have an ivory, white body color. Some have a dark zone in the dorsal fin, but it does not stop there during the breeding season. The females become almost black. This is also when females become very intolerant. She defends her eggs like a fury. A lot of sand is moved during the breeding period. The male, like many other Central American cichlids, stays at a safe distance. Because the female does not hesitate to attack her own partner. After three to four days, depending on the temperature, the eggs hatch. After another seven days, they swim freely. The male is now allowed to come closer. The fry eat brine shrimp larvae as soon as they swim. They are often cared for by the parents for a long time. At a size of 3 to 4 centimeters, the young go through a critical phase. Hobbyists have independently reported problems around this development phase. High mortality rates, up to complete litters. The causes are unknown. So having a Nandopsis hadensis is tricky and breeding them is a nightmare. That's it all about Nandopsis hadensis. Please like. Share and subscribe to our channel Cichlid Dojo. Happy fish keeping.